All right, uh, so quick trade recap here. Um, essentially, well, I'll give a bit of a recap of the analysis I had. So um, I stated this already in the live stream from this morning. Price action on the weekly is incredibly just eh, like it's very bad. I don't have a direction for it yet. I haven't had a really solidified um, direction for it for two and a half weeks now because we're inside this bearish fair value gap and we're not closing above it. We continue to close inside of it, but also have a decent amount of like buy side pressure where we're not really rejecting off of it too much, but we're sitting inside of it two and a half, three weeks now. So um, until we have a close above here, that would mean my next objective is the all time high. I don't really have a direction. Um, on the daily, we're consolidating. However, like we're in a range, which I don't love, but we swept sell side liquidity and we traded inside of a um, daily fair value, bullish fair value gap today. So that, so I was bullish off of the daily time frame. However, because we were ranging, I only wanted to uh, look for, well, multiple reasons why I only wanted to look for a really uh, obvious draw on liquidity. And one that was nearby, I didn't wanna shoot for anything too crazy today because I, I'm, I'm not gonna assume that today is gonna give us some huge uh, bullish candle because look at what we're in. We're inside shop, right? So I'm not looking for that big move today. Um, multiple reasons why. Number one, like I said, we're ranging. Uh, number two, the election is coming up and price action is going to be choppy because of that. Um, the uncertain uncertainty there, right? And then you also have NFP news coming out this Friday. Um, so multiple factors that could make price choppy. Now, I came into the market this morning saying the ideal trade for me would be if we swept this low one last time and respected this four hour fair value gap. And if we didn't respect the four hour fair value gap, I was still looking to see maybe we could respect the four hour inversion fair value gap. But I wanted to see a sweep of liquidity here and then I wanted to see us come and target just these relative equal highs. You see the high of this candle and the high of this candle, relative equal highs. That's what I was looking for. I wasn't looking for anything crazy. I know these are equal highs above, but like I said, we're ranging. I don't want to look for that big move right now. Could it happen? Sure. Uh, but I wasn't willing to look for that. Um, you got a better read of the equal highs I was targeting for my final take profit on the one hour here, and you get to see get to see the nice sweep that occurred. Uh, we took out sell side to come for buy side. Uh, the 15 minute, you really get to see the equal highs. So here and here, right? That was the target. Um, my entry, my entry was this. So we, well, if we would have closed, if this candle, this bullish five minute candle would have closed above this fair, uh, bearish fair value gap, then we would have had an inversion fair value gap, I would have entered off of the inversion fair value gap, the five minute inversion, but we didn't get that it didn't it closed within it. So then I looked for um, I looked to just get in off of this one minute inversion fair value gap. And so price tapped us in. Right. Obviously, we broke structure too. That goes without saying. Like the distribution was here. Obviously, we broke structure. Um, I used an inversion fair value gap for my entry. Um, price put us in some drawdown for a little, you know, a, couple, a few minutes there, and then went in our direction. Um, now, on top of me only shooting for low hanging fruit objectives, right? Like nearby liquidity. Right? This was nearby liquidity. Uh, right, nearby liquidity. I also, instead of risking 1% of my total account on this trade, which I nor that's normally my risk allocation, I risked half a percent. Um, 
so that allowed me to have two contracts on this trade. So <clears throat> how I managed the trade was I took one contract off here at this high. Um, I also for forgot to mention, I would not have entered this trade off of this inversion fair value gap if we continued to go higher and took out this high first. The fact that we left these high, or the fact that we left this high untouched and created a relative equal high with this high here gave me more confirmation that, yeah, we're going to continue higher because that's just more liquidity that we have to now come for. So the fact that we rejected off of that high there and came down to my inversion fair value gap, that gave me more um, of a reason to be bullish and to enter. Uh, but yeah, again, I risked half a percent. So I took one contract off here essentially the midway point to my final TP, but it also made sense because um, of that high. I wanted to see that high get taken. Um, and could we have rejected from there? It's a possibility. So I took one contract off. After taking one contract off, I also put my stop loss to underneath this low. So that allowed the trade to be risk free had it come back down to my stop loss at, at that point. Um, eventually, around like I think it was around like this candle here. Hang on. It's around like this candle here or something. One of these candles. I um, set my stop loss to break even and then eventually hit my final take profit. So that was the trade. Um, I'll show the executions on the on my uh, funded account here or the eval account, I should say. Um, give me one second. So as you can see, one contract taken off once we came above this high. This is just me marking the equilibrium of the, or the consequent encroachment of the wick here. Um, but yeah, entry here, one contract off here, one contract off there. So those, that's the executions and that was the trade. Psychologically, I felt, I, you know, my mental was fine. You know, at the end of the day, I followed my trading plan with the entry. So even if I lost the trade, I couldn't be mad, right? It, it, any day you follow your trading plan is a good day, win or lose. So, uh, but yeah, obviously it's more fun to win, right? So. Uh, it was a good good trading day, uh, up 210 bucks. Again, only risked half a percent, so uh, limited myself on reward as much as I limited myself on the risk side of things. So, uh, but yeah.